three minutes of static. That's all it took to potentially hide the biggest discovery in human history. One moment, the world's astronomers were watching NASA's live feed, tracking Comet 3-1 Atlas as it screamed through our solar system. Next, the screen went blue. Before the blackout, the comet, an object from another star system, was showing impossible readings. Signatures of processed metals, things that have no business being on a chunk of ice and rock. NASA blamed a satellite malfunction, but insiders whisper that the feed wasn't lost. It was deliberately severed. The question is, what were they trying to hide? NASA's unscheduled blackout. You see, space is mostly empty, mostly quiet. That's the official story anyway. But on a day that started like any other, that silence was broken by a stream of data so bizarre, it sent shockwaves through the astronomical community. The source was an object designated 3I Atlas. The I stands for interstellar, meaning this thing was not from around here. It was a tourist from another star system, and it was putting on a show that no one was prepared for. The Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, is a set of telescopes designed to spot space rocks that could pose a threat to Earth. It's our planetary defense system. But what it found that day wasn't a threat in the usual sense. It was a threat to our understanding of the universe itself. As the telescope stared at the comet, the data started to get weird. Comets are supposed to be dirty snowballs, right? Mostly ice, dust, and rock. But the spectrograph readings from Atlas were showing something else entirely. They were showing spikes of nickel. Not just a little, but a huge enhanced signature of it. Far more than any comet in our solar system has ever shown. The things nobody tells you is that this nickel content was increasing rapidly as the comet got closer to our sun. It was as if the sun's heat was activating something within the object, making it glow with a metallic fingerprint. Imagine the scene in the control room. Scientists leaning closer to their screens, murmuring in disbelief. The data is double-checked, then triple-checked. It's real. An object from another star, measuring tens of miles in diameter, is streaking through our cosmic backyard and appears to be shedding processed metal. But that wasn't even the most shocking part. The coma, the fuzzy atmosphere around the comet, was unlike anything ever recorded. It was a mind-boggling 700,000 miles wide. That's more than half the diameter of the sun itself. An object just a few dozen miles across was generating an atmosphere wider than a star. It was a cosmic magic trick that defied the laws of physics. And inside this massive electrically charged cloud of gas and dust, the metallic signatures were getting stronger. And then it happened. Right at the moment of peak weirdness as the data streams were painting a picture of something truly alien, the public live feed from the monitoring station went dead. Not a flicker, not a glitchy image, just a clean, sudden cut to a blue screen. Three full minutes of total information blackout. To the average person watching at home, it might have seemed like a simple technical issue, but to those in the know, the timing was too perfect, too suspicious. The official explanation came a few hours later. A routine satellite handover issue caused a temporary loss of signal. A simple, boring, believable excuse. But not everyone was buying it. You see, many people are crazy about these live feeds and they know the systems have backups for their backups. A total three minute outage on all channels, precisely when the most anomalous data of the century is coming through. The odds are astronomical. Whispers started leaking out from anonymous sources inside the space community. They said it wasn't a glitch, it was a switch. They claimed the feed was intentionally cut to prevent the public from seeing what came next. The question is, what was so important to hide? What they saw in those three minutes of darkness is a secret they never wanted revealed. Riddle from Sagittarius. So what exactly was this object that caused such a panic? To understand the mystery, you have to understand where 3 i slash Atlas came from. It wasn't born in our solar system. It didn't grow up orbiting our sun like the other comets we know. This was a true alien, an outcast from another unknown star system, ejected into the void and left to wander the galaxy for millions, maybe billions of years. Its journey through the cold, dark space between stars finally brought it to our doorstep. But the direction it came from is enough to give you chills. It arrived from the constellation of Sagittarius. If that name rings a bell, it should. 
Sagittarius is the same region of the sky where, in 1977, we received the famous WOW signal, the most powerful and mysterious potential alien radio signal ever detected. Coincidence? Maybe. But in space, coincidence is that big or hard to ignore. But not all things are what they seem. When astronomers first spotted Atlas, they thought it was just another faint comet. But as it got closer, it started to break all the rules. We already mentioned its colossal, half a million mile wide coma. But the composition of that coma was even stranger. It was spewing out a bizarre ratio of gases, with eight times more carbon dioxide than water. That's incredibly unusual for a comet, but it's very similar to the atmosphere of a certain red planet in our own solar system, Mars. And get this, the object itself had a distinct reddish color, just like Mars. It even made its closest approach to the Sun at a time that was strangely in sync with Mars's own orbit. This thing was not just a dirty snowball. The energy it was giving off was immense. As the Sun's radiation hit it, the comet's coma became a swirling storm of dusty plasma. Think of it as a cosmic thundercloud, electromagnetically active and pulsing with energy. Scientists noted that the dust waves inside this plasma cloud were vibrating at frequencies between zero and 50 hertz. Here's a wow factor for you. Those are the exact same frequencies as human brain waves. This led some very serious scientists to speculate, in very hushed tones, about whether an object that complex and active could possess some form of consciousness. Is it alive? Not in a way we can understand, but it was a complex active system that was reacting to its environment in shocking ways. Let's talk size. The solid nucleus of the comet was estimated to be anywhere from 5 to 50 kilometers, or about 3 to 30 miles, across. That's the size of a city or even a small country. An object that big, traveling at tens of thousands of miles per hour, coming from the direction of the WOW signal, with a Mars-like atmosphere and a metallic secret hidden in its tail. Are you starting to see why a few strange readings on a screen might be enough to make someone press the panic button and cut the feed? This wasn't just a rock. It was a messenger. But what was its message? The metallic signature was the key, and it pointed to an origin that was anything but natural. Why did they cut the feed? So, let's get down to it. The three minutes of static. The official story is a glitch. The unofficial story is a cover-up. But what was so terrible that it had to be hidden from the public eye? The answer lies in that metallic signature. The enhanced nickel readings were just the beginning. The sources that leaked information after the blackout claimed that in those three minutes, the readings went off the charts. They didn't just show nickel, they showed traces of other elements. Some arranged in ratios that suggested they were alloys. Metals blended together artificially, not formed by nature. It was the cosmic equivalent of finding a stainless steel fork in a pristine, untouched jungle. It simply does not belong. Think about what this means. If a comet is showing signs of manufactured metals, it can only be one of two things. One, it's a piece of some colossal alien megastructure that was destroyed eons ago, and this is just a piece of the wreckage. Or two, and this is the one that really keeps government officials up at night. It's not wreckage at all. It's a probe, a ship an autonomous vessel sent by an alien civilization to explore the galaxy, and it just happened to wander into our solar system. The things nobody tells you is that a discovery like that wouldn't just be the scientific breakthrough of the millennium. It would cause global panic, upend every religion on the planet, and shift the balance of power forever. No government on Earth is prepared for that kind of revelation. The electrical activity around the comet adds another layer to the mystery, the video mentioned Birkelin currents, which are like giant electrical conduits that can form in plasma. What if the comet wasn't just a passive object being lit up by the sun? What if it was powering itself up? Using the sun's energy to bring its systems online after a long, cold journey through interstellar space. Maybe the metallic signatures weren't just a tail. Maybe they were an emission, a waste product from a propulsion system. Or even more incredible, what if it was an attempt to communicate? A burst of metallic particles aimed at the third planet from the sun, a way of saying, we're here. This is why they would have cut the feed. In those three minutes, maybe the visual telescopes caught something. Not just data on a screen, but an image, a flash of light, a change in the comet's trajectory. Or maybe, 
just maybe, a structure emerging from within that 700,000 mile wide cloud of gas and dust. Anything that would have turned speculation into undeniable proof. So they pulled the plug. They let the object pass by, knowing that its trajectory would eventually fling it back out into deep space, never to return. The evidence would be gone forever. All they had to do was ride out the storm of a few curious astronomers and internet sleuths. A small price to pay for keeping the biggest secret in human history. But they made one mistake. They forgot the data, once downloaded, never truly disappears. The truth is out there, still. So, here we are, left with more questions than answers. Was the NASA feed cut a genuine technical error? A one in a million glitch that happened at the worst possible time? Or was it a deliberate act of censorship on a cosmic scale? Let's talk directly here. The thing is, we are often told to trust the experts, to believe the simple logical explanation. But when the stakes are this high, can we really afford to? We're talking about an object from another star system that broke the rules of cometary science, showed evidence of artificial materials, and came from the one spot in the sky that has taunted us with a potential alien signal for nearly 50 years. Is it really so crazy to think that maybe, just maybe, this was the moment of first contact and it was hidden from us? The official scientific papers published on 3i slash Atlas focus on its strange composition, its rapid disintegration, and its unusual orbit. They are fascinating, but they are sterile. They are scrubbed clean of the incredible context and the suspicious timing of the blackout. They don't mention the eyewitness accounts from amateur astronomers who reported strange flares from the comet that night, flashes of light that were never officially explained. They don't address the fact that the Atlas system, designed to be our infallible watchdog, conveniently failed at the most critical moment in its history. Are we missing a key detail that ties all of this together? Maybe it's not a grand conspiracy. Maybe it was a series of bizarre coincidences. But as this mysterious messenger from Sagittarius continues its journey back into the void, leaving us behind, we have to wonder, was this a test? A flyby to see if we were watching? The universe is a big place, far bigger and stranger than we can possibly imagine. The idea that we are alone in it seems less likely every day. What 3i slash Atlas represents is the chilling possibility that we are not only not alone, but that we have already been visited. And the people we trust to tell us these things chose to keep it a secret. It makes you wonder what else they might be hiding up there in the dark. They told us it was a comet, but the data tells a different story. Was the NASA feed cut the biggest cover-up of all time? Let us know what you believe in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more secrets the universe has to hide.